my sumo peeps. Um, I uh, am back with another pseudo tutorial and um, the reason I am is because I learned how to do something new and uh, what it is is making these fruits or veggies. This actually looks like a cucumber however in my vision I called it a, a fruit um, and uh, I thought I'd share it with you because it's kind of fun to do. So um, last week I did the tutorial about how to, to make and bend and warp leaves and shade them and um, kind of give them a little bit more life than they come with with sumo, but I thought for now I'd show you the fruit and uh, see what see what you guys come up with. So let's get started. Let's open up a new document, new image, okie doke. Let's bend that. And I always like to start with some sort of gradient on the back layer, just sort of gives me something to play off of. So let's, let's just do that. It's good to me. And I don't think I'm going to do a full image here. I just really want to show you how I'm making these foods. So go to your brush tool, turn your flow all the way up, diameter all the way up. And we're just going to use basic shape. You can use a circle or an oblong or an oblong. You can get it banana out of this, you can make a papaya out of that, or an apple out of that. Let's, uh, work a cucumber. Let's, uh, do a cucumber. So, let's take our rotation. So we get fairly vertical. And pop, there you go. That's a cucumber. Let's take our move tool. Make it a little larger so it's easier to work with. And adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize, lighten. Actually, let's, uh, for now, let's just lighten. Let's push OK. Adjustments, I don't know why you have to go back and do this again. Adjustments, hue and saturation. If you don't, then you get that weird little line there on the edge. Um, and then let's just take our color to something that looks cucumber y. And about there, you can turn the color, or the color down if you want. And there you go, there's a cucumber. Ha ha ha. Anyway, let's uh, take our warp tool, put some points along it. Actually, let's go ahead and pre transform. Got some points here, let's add another one. And cucumbers don't really have this, but I've been doing this in a lot of my fruits lately. It's sort of like an indentation for the stem. Because you know, the fruits are never really perfect, so uh, I like to sort of bend them and warp them and give them a little personality. All seen cucumbers kind of warp and they never seem to be perfect, so I'm not going to make mine perfect. This might even turn out looking a little bit like a pickle. Let's use the regular transform tool and thin it up a bit. Alright, so that looks kind of like a cucumber shape. Now what we need to do is kind of shade it and give it a little bit of character depth. So we choose our blur tool and let's choose our brighten tool and let's make the circle into the airbrush number two. Turn our strength all the way down to about 5%, eh, maybe a little bit more, I'll do 6. And turn our size up. and. See how the sun is up in this corner here. Let's go ahead and shade it like the sun was actually hitting it there. And again, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm not really an artist, so I don't understand a lot of um, shading techniques. And I'm sure if you take an art class, you learn all this sort of stuff. But I just have to go by what. I think it would look like. And just sort of see as I add, if I light as I lighten and darken it, it just sort of gets you can see the shape of it really. It sort of gives it a new life. You can just put a little bit of whoops. A little bit of sun kind of in the center there, just 
and just sort of gives it. I like that, but that's okay. I can always go back over it with darken. So I just don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing this uh, because I always make these tutorials way too long. And I'm going to kind of darken it around the stem area. And break it on the bottom there. Okay, so let's pretend we like that, which I'm not 100% happy with it, but that's okay. Right click, select pixels, and this is how we kind of give our skin some texture and vegetable-y look. Um, choose our brush, turn our flow down to about 38, turn our opacity down to about 37, 38, turn our size way down, and let's choose, I guess airbrush number two is good. Spacing. Let's turn that almost all the way up. Scattering or random rotate. And let's just sort of add some dots to it. See, as the spacing, I can just kind of keep my mouse button down and keep it, the button on. And this will sort of add different color little dots. Let's see if I go out here and go, oh my god, it ruined it. Nope, it stays in here because I've selected the pixels. You can go ahead and shrink that a little bit more so you get some smaller, smaller dots too. Let's see how it's sort of giving it that cucumber look, or pickle look, I guess. Um, and then let's change the color to white and add some little bit of different color dots in there. Give it a little bit of something unusual. And I, I found that as I was doing this before I wasn't adding the white dots, and the white dots actually kind of give it a little bit more of a realistic look, at least to me anyway. And it, it sort of gives it that dimply skin of a cucumber. And let's pretend we're happy with that. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is go stylize and boss and it will give it that. I don't really like that. I don't think vegetables look quite like that. Maybe gourds do, but I'm making a cucumber. So <clears throat> select, deselect. And then you have a pretty realistic cucumber. Another thing you can do is kind of adjust the curves. Pull the darkness and the lightness out of it. Give it a little bit more of a contrasty look. And if you're not 100% happy with that, you still think you need to give it a little bit better shading. Yeah, let's go up here. And just do that. Now that looks a little bit more like a cucumber to me. So you notice how on the edge here I've got kind of a blue line and that, I don't know why that develops, but it always kind of bugs me. And how you can get rid of that is again, right click, select pixels, go up here to select, contract, and let's just go down to one pixel or two pixels. Usually one is just fine. Push OK, select, Inverse, so we're just selecting the area outside. Edit, cut, and then select, deselect, and voila, the little blue line is gone. So there you have a pretty nice looking cucumber, at least to me anyway. I, I think it looks kind of realistic. If you want to add a stem, 
add a new layer. Let's take our line tool, get this to black, and we might need it to be a little bit bigger than 10. Let's just go ahead and end it a little bit. Adjustments, hue and saturation, lighten it. I don't know why you have to go back in here and do it twice because I don't have to in Photoshop. Adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize. Let's go ahead and give it a color similar to that. Darken it just a bit. And then go to our blur tool. Let's blur the bottom of this. Turn up your flow a little bit more. You just want it to sort of blend in with the, this with the cucumber. be enough. And here we go, this thing's turning into a long tutorial again. And we could either add a bevel to that or we can go ahead and shade it ourselves. ourselves always looks better to me. It's just using the, the dodge and the burn tool. I think that looks pretty good. Let's merge that down. And there you have it, a perfect cucumber, pickle, whatever. If you wanted to, you could add leaves to it. Um, this actually looks very much like that papaya looking fruit that I call heavy on the vine. Um, so have at it, make me some stuff. Show me what you can do. Thanks for watching, bye.